Well, hey guys, STLC Trades on location here, and after a grueling 10 hour flight where I thought I'd kill myself and lose the world to live, I have finally arrived in Japan for the first video of Japan Trades on location. Whoop, whoop, whoop. To kick off the vlog, we've got that train that I have absolutely no idea what it is that just departed that platform going somewhere. Don't know anything about this, it's a completely different country, but this is a Japanese train station. And we've got another train around. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. I'll just give you two down the platform. In Japan, they have waiting rooms for trains. Central Station, you're being put to shame. Why can't we get waiting rooms at Oatley Station? And platforms one and two, we just need a nice waiting room, okay? Japan can do it, we can. And there's the other platform. So, it looks to me, I'm just trying to think of a station in Sydney I can compare it to. A single platform. I'd say it looks a bit like a, probably a St. James or a Martin Place type station, except it's single platforms, not island platforms. I'm just going, so yeah, I'm just going to take a look down this platform. I know nothing about this. This is just purely for entertainment purposes only. They're the Japanese passenger information display screens, otherwise known as PIDs. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Another waiting room. And they actually have these... And would you believe me, you actually get allocated seats on these trains. Yes, they allocate you a seat. It seems a bit dramatic to me and a bit pointless to be honest. There you go. I'm catching the Narisa Express through to Tokyo. To Shin... Shinjitsu, I think it is. Shinjitsu. I don't know what that one's called. Don't really care to be honest. But yeah. This is... So yeah. I will see you guys. stops all the way down the platform over there. And while we are at it, we have got the Narita Express arriving onto the platform. No idea what type of train this is. It's the next. Well, this is certainly different to what you get in Sydney. Very different. So yeah. Very strange. Anyway guys, this is just a quick video. I'm going to wrap it up now. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, favorite, and share the video. Stay tuned for episode two of Japanese Trains on Location. Until then, goodbye for now.